VB New South Wales Cup. Live Rugby League on Steel Sports. With Albie Tallarico and the team. Powered by Fit Services, Newtown Jets, Something Nice and SCU Credit Union. And welcome back again to the 8th Wonder of the World, Henson Park. And yes, the hill is starting to fill on this very overcast, a very cold day out here at Markville for this 8A clash. The round, it's round 8B actually between the Blue Bags of Newtown and the boys from the peninsula, the Manly Warringah Seagulls. Now, neither of these two sides have reached any great heights this year, but this is their grand final. You're going to hear plenty of cheers this afternoon, plenty of cheers, maybe even for the referee. But the greatest cheer of all you'll hear is when the announcement for the crowd goes up as 8,972. You see, here at Newtown, we count fingers and toes. We count even the mice that come in through the gates. We count everyone because we love everyone here at Henson Park. You're here because of Steel Sports. You're going to be listening to our commentary. You're going to be watching on live stream through Two Little Fish. And you're here because we love rugby league, the greatest game of all. As the Newtown Jets take to the field. Yes, they've taken the feet now. Now, Newtown will be defending the northern end of the ground, the pit behind, um, just underneath the Peter Shamara cell scoreboard. Manly will be defending the southern end of the ground. We're here for kickoff. It's just on 3 o'clock. You're on steelsports.com.au and you're at Henson Park for this great game, Round 8B of the New South Wales Cup, the VB New South Wales Cup. Manly will be taking the kickoff, of course, to the halfway for a penalty kickoff. Not a great way to start, Stephen Russo. No, a, a, a disappointed Manly side, obviously, after that first error. <laughs> first few seconds of the game, Newtown will be on the attack, obviously, with the uh, penalty on their halfway line. We'll just see what they're going to take. Keith Robert Payne. Yeah, well, look, I'll, I'll tell you what they'll do today. They'll do exactly what they're doing right at this moment. Big Sulala Huma, straight up the middle of the ruck, and that's what we want to see from him and also from Ryan Belinden from the get-go. Here's the attack now. They rock it up there. They're trying to get their way up there. It goes into the hands of, uh, of Evans now. Can he get away from one, two? Goes down in the tackle. Carr is at the acting half. They come towards the open side play, looking for some runners. Crossfield kick. It was charged down there, but he'll have to come back. The referees let it go. It is set, so he's away now, and the Manly player will scatter Away. There's your piece of individual brilliance. And it's, it's Michael Chickham who's run all the field and uh, scored the try for the Manly Warringah Seagulls. He turns around and he looks down and Michael Chickham has run untouched. About 85 metres to score that try after a charge down. I actually felt it came off his hands. The referee obviously said no. And of course, Daniel Pettigrew, you're a lot closer than what we were. I thought it came off his hands as well, Albie. I thought probably a fairly lucky try to Manly, but I agree. I thought it came off his hands too. So the try has been awarded and Manly go to the front. Four points to nil. Four points is worth about 24 at the moment. And I'll tell you where you get all the points. Everything sports, your one-stop shop for cricket league, AFL, netball. Do they do anything more? Of course they do. Soccer, apparel. Call Jay on 02 42 72 79. 4-0 on the scoreboard with a kick to come on the Petty Shamara Cell scoreboard. We're here at Henson Park, courtesy of our friends on steelsports.com.au. Here's the kick straight in front of the post. And, uh, geez, he, didn't give it, he gave a bit of cheek, didn't he, Michael Cheekham? Yeah, the little pirouette. He looked at the Newtown fans, had a bit of a laugh. Um, I don't know whether it was really necessary to do that, but I'm sure it just adds to the spirit of the game. It does. Bit of entertainment straight between the posts. There's the kick by Rudolph. There is nothing in this game. There is absolutely not a struck match between these two teams. And as I said before, the first one to blink is going to be the one that loses. Indeed, Stephen Russo. Yeah, if I was Greg Madison, I'd be having a word to run Samad at halftime. He really isn't doing much. He's a supremely talented player. And really, he's only really coming in on those last tackle options. And they've been poor. Just poor kicks. Mate, try running the ball. You're a talented ball runner. Get out there. Have a go. Stephen Russo with his comments. And they're always straight down the line. You don't get wrong here. Here's Manley with a quick back line movement. There's Williams. And he's put down in the tackle. 12 out. Right in front of the commentary position. Oh, he's copped a hit there. And he's gone down. That's not what the fans at Manly wanted to see there. So the uh, touches and everyone will come on the field there. He doesn't look well at all. Goes to Davis. Now they're looking for working for some numbers. There's Reece Martin on that far side. They can't push him out over the line now. He'll get up and play the ball back. He's still going, still going. Now he goes down in the line. Offload. Play on set the referee. Goes in the hands of Arata Tamata. Can he do something? Can he get to the line? Can he get over the line? He's very, very close. Last tackle now for the Jets. They come towards the open side. There's Evans. A little grubber kick. Ah, oh, there he is again. He's read that one like a book. You're right. David Williams again has read it. He's defused another kick. 
Newtown, the variation. I've been telling you about this. You looked good when you ran the ball out in the fringes, threw some offloads, but now you're just going for these crappy little kicks. What's it doing? Well, a runner heard you. I mean, he's, he's, he sent the runner out and he said, listen, he's up there. Russo's going off his brain. Don't kick again. So a runner said, all right, son, I'll do that. He chipped ahead. No, he didn't. He ran. He ran. He didn't quite make it. So uh, he's got to go to coach's instructions. But you're right. His kicking game today has been less than ordinary. And we know that he's a very talented playmaker. He is indeed. And I, the crowd are just holding their own. This is an intriguing clash. I thought the ball went forward. It did. I got it right that time. Five on the Newtown side of halfway. Peter Shamara sells scoreboard. It's Manly Warringah six. Newtown Jets nil. We'll see if there's any paint. We'll see what happens. And left. Runs into the hands of Brad Crow. Brad Crow takes it to the 40 meter line before he's put down in the tackle. We're waiting for the siren to sound for the end of this first half. The strangers at the acting half now. Which way is he going? Goes towards the open side. Finds Evans. Here's the midfield bomb. There's the siren. Up it goes. Who's going to come down with it? Might as well be a Jets player. I think it has to be. It is. Goes into the hands of Jack Noble. Goes to ground. Finishes up on the 40 meter line. Half time. And your try scorer, of course, was Michael Cheekham. He ran 85 metres untouched. And a goal, of course, to Manea Rudolph. And you're on steelsports.com.au. Peter Shamara still scoreboard 6 to 0. Manly over Newtown. And we'll be back in just a moment. And we're back live here at Henson Park on the Petit Shamara Cell scoreboard. It's 6 to 0. You're listening on steelsports.com.au. You can watch the pictures. Uh, just follow the links on the websites uh, via the Newtown Jets. If you've got a Twitter page or go to their Facebook page, just follow the link or via live stream. And it's courtesy today of Two Little Fish. And so far, I have to say, it's going absolutely sensational. It's great working with them. So Newtown are now defending, of course, the southern end of the ground. So they've got a little bit of a win behind them, not as much as what we actually thought, because previously that breeze was way up there, manly defending the northern end of the ground, the scoreboard end of the ground, and this is it, the final 40 minutes of this game, round 8B of New South Wales Cup action, and there's the kickoff now by the Newtown Jets. Now the wind picked that up, taken by Rudolph, brings it across to the open side, goes into the hands of Andrews, he gets put down in the tackle, he makes it about 20 out from the line, 10 in from touch, eastern touch line, they come towards the open side, now they run it up, and they're put down in the tackle. There's Lestrange involved with that. Side so Lestrange sends it across one to Pern. Pern straightens up and he goes down in the tackle now, thinking he could get over the line. There's still two out from the uh, line. Last tackle now for the Jets. Fuamata now with the ball, steps away from one, two. Could have been obstruction. It was play on. Now they've got some numbers out here. Can they get there? Can they get there? It's a try. Josh Davis gets it over the line. And there's that biggest rule that you like to hear. Yes, they've pointed to the spot. And it's six to four on the Peter Shamara cell scoreboard. Stephen Russo. Yeah, what a great last play option. I think there was it the last play. I think it probably was. And yeah, what did I say? Running the ball. And it worked. And Tamara, well done. He rectified what he put up in the first half and he did it. Six to four on the Petty Shamara Cell scoreboard. They're great sponsors of the Jets. Here's the kick. It looks pretty good in flight. It looks great in flight. Flags are up and you can hear the roar. What a kick. You can hear the roar. Well, that might have just settled Stephen Russo down a little bit. But <laughs> you are absolutely right. You said run on the last and they did it and they scored. Why aren't you coaching, young fella? And he'll get up and play the ball back through Hodges. Hodges sends it out through uh, to Ligi Saho. Saho sends it across for to Yusefa. They're almost there, Manly. They're almost there. I think they're there over the line. They are over the line and Manly Warringah have scored. And I think it's the 5'8". It looks to me like it's the 5'8 that scored it. Or is it Toddy Wilson, I think, that scored it on that far side? I think it's Todd Wilson. He looks at the sticks now. This is an important kick. 10 to 6 on the scoreboard. Comes around. He's a left foot kicker. Looks fairly good in flight. Flags are up. 12 to 6. 12 to 6 in favour of the Manly Warringah Seagulls over the Newtown Jets. From the line now. Centre field now. We get up and play. There's Lestrange. Open side towards the east inside. There's Kara. Little run around. There's Tamara. Holds it. Shows it. Can he get there? Can he get there? Can he? He gets there. He scores the try untouched. Tamara scores the try. That's what we've been looking for. No need to go upstairs to any video ref. That was scintillating rugby league by Arana Tamara. Finally, he's woken up and the giant awakens within Stephen Russo. Yeah, running, running, running and more running. Seems to be the key for success here for Newtown. 21 out, here's the kick from Tamata. It looks pretty good, it looks fairly good. It's hit the post. No. The left hand upright, 12 to 10, the score remains. They're just in front of the scoreboard, 12 to 10. This is a really good, intriguing contest. Yeah, looking for some runners. There goes the halfback inside. They're running, can they keep going? They offload, there goes in the hands of Charlie Taylor. He's close, the flag went up, but the referee and the touch judges are pointed down and Charlie Taylor scored a try for the Manly Warringah Seagulls. Well, 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 well. How to silence a crowd. 16 plays 10, he's 16 plays 10. A little clever play there from the halfback. Uh, 
of Manaya. It was a very little, nice little pass inside that got Charlie Taylor over the line, and he sprinted for the corner. Good work there. Around the crowd are trying to put him off his game. He comes around, left foot kicks it. It looks good in flight, I must say. Looks great in flight. Flags him up, Wooshka. Well. How to silence the crowd. Four and a bit minutes left to play here. The crowd is silent here at Henson Park. Did he lose a penalty now? This is what they need back to back. They've pulled it out before. Geez, they need to do something right up there. No pressure, but they've got to score here. No and they're just about to do it here. There you go. Tomato now with the ball over the 20, over the half. He took the penalty. Dap it. He's there. He scores the try. Well, well, well. Stephen Russo. He's listening very, to Russo. Very, very clever play. Benji Marshall-esque circa, circa 2013. If you remember last year, Benji did a similar play against Parramatta. But that was very, very clever there from Arana Tamata. Caught them napping, took their tap, sprinted away. As I said, very talented, very classy player. And when he puts it all together, the Newtown Jets saw. They do indeed. Here's the kick now. And uh, Tukiano now with the kick. Kick set. Flags are up. It's a two-point ball game. Well... Well, 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 as they say in the classics, there's not long to go. We have three minutes left to play. Five on the manly side of halfway. There's Lestrange. Scootles out of acting half. The crowd are calling for a penalty because they believe he was all offside. Open side they come. He's Kem Seru. He now runs it up to Aaron Tamata. He does a little kick ahead. Does anyone know what was happening? Can they do it? There's Williams on the side. A knock on. Under pressure there, Williams. Well, a quick scrum would need to be set. I've never seen so many blokes run fast to a scrum with 90 seconds left to play. And they're back. Manly player tried to get involved with the scrum. A very cheeky play there. Oh, that was brilliant. I think it was Masada Yusefa that got involved there. The Newtown boys weren't happy. They tried to pull him out there, and rightly so, mate. You uh, can't that do that. Penalty for all money. Five out from the line now. Gets up and plays it through Lestrange. Goes through Urana Tamata. He has to jump up and get that one. He holds it. He shows it. He runs across the field. Inside he comes through just to Reaper. To Reaper sends the ball out through Salohuma. He offloads. Gives it to Kensuro. He decides to straighten up and run. And he gets the Pistons going. He goes down in the tackle. Six out. Last tackle now for the Newtown Jets. We're in the final 35 seconds. Goes through Lestrange. Open side they come. Inside pass to Verlinden. Can he get the ball away? He can. But it goes into the hands of David Williams and Williams will take the ball down and Mally will go away with the two, point, two points today and they'll win by two points with 20 seconds left to play unless a miracle can happen. They run the ball up. He went, goes into Lestrange. There's another tackle involved in here for the Mali Warringa Seagulls. They're both, they're all looking at the clock. There's nine seconds left to play. He gets up and plays it. There's Williams. He runs up. He tries to get away from it, but he goes down in the tackle now. And he goes down in the tackle, 15 out from the line with four. But that's it. That's the time. And the Hooter should run. It should sound, and it does. And Mali Warringa Seagulls will take the points today. And they're deserved winners. 18 points to 16. Stephen Russell. Great game. Great game. Newcown obviously had a bit of a slow start but in that second half that man Arana Tamata really came into his own and they really took it to the Seagulls great game of football from both sides should be both very proud of their efforts if you ask me tell you what it comes down to two points and Manly come away with the win they take two points and they bank that for the back end of the season and the Jets well they live to fight another day but I, I tell you what I thought that Manly just had that structure in that early stages and they did very very well and of course at the end of the day they take the two points um, it was a great game. It was very intriguing right throughout the, the whole afternoon. It was tit for tat. It comes down to a goal that was missed, unfortunately, by Arana Tamata. He hit the post, the left-hand post, and we'd be all wrapped up. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. He did a lot today. He scored a couple of tries, and as did Josh Davis for Newtown. Goal to Tukiano. Goal to... Um, Arana Tamata for Manly Warringah Seagulls. Charlie Taylor scored a try, as did Michael Cheekham, and uh, that was against the run of pay. And, if he only, and, and Todd Wilson was the other one as well. We've got uh, on the sideline, there's Daniel Pettigrew. We'll go straight to him now. And I'm here with uh, the Manly Seagulls fullback, David Williams. David, congratulations on the victory. Thanks, mate. Uh, made it hard for ourselves, but got there in the end. Definitely a difficult game. Did you expect Newtown to be that tough tonight, or this afternoon? Definitely. Um, they're, they're one of the toughest teams going around, have been for a long time, and especially at Henson. And uh, we haven't been playing our best, but it's a building process, and hopefully we're working in the right direction. You mentioned Henson. What's it like playing out here? Very cold day. Oh, mate, it's all right. Yeah, I've had our uh, worst days out here. The pitch is uh, definitely a lot softer than I remember. So it's uh, it's been good, good experience, and uh, yeah, looking forward to next week. And yourself trying to get back into the first grade side. Tough year for you, but uh, hopefully see you back in the first grade so side soon. Yeah, mate. Hopefully, um, just keep working for it. The boys are playing well. I mean, the way they played last week will be tough to get into, but I'll just keep doing my best. Congratulations on today. Thanks, mate. Tom. Back to you guys. Yeah, thank you there, Daniel Pettigrew. That's uh, well done. Really appreciate that. Thank you to David Williams for taking the time up to speak with us this afternoon.
Manly Warringah Seagulls have defeated the Newtown Jets 18 points to 16. Don't forget, the post-match function today is at the Botany View Hotel on King Street. Then there's a trivia night down there at the Golden Bali Hotel. Well, Stephen Russo, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I know you're an incredibly busy bloke, but really, really appreciate your comments. And you called the game. You called exactly how it had to happen. And it did. Always a pleasure, mate. I really appreciate the opportunity here. And always a pleasure to come down here to Henson Park. Love coming down here. All the Newtown people are always great. And just always a great down game. Uh, sorry, always a great experience down here. So uh, just everybody should always come down here whenever there's a game on. Uh, really something for the true rugby league fan. Indeed. Daniel Pettigrew, thank you so much. Yeah, been a lot of fun. Nice to be back in a warm room as well. <laughs> Indeed, mate. You'll be all right. <laughs> Keith Robert Payne. Yeah, look. Firstly, enjoyed that game today between uh, Sydney Uni, my alma mater, and, uh, and of course they were a great side against the Cumberland uh, Grizzlies. Uh, Daniel, great call, Thank great you. job on the sideline and a sensational afternoon of rugby league as always we get here at uh, Henson Park. Well, for those that have watched it, it's been through two little fish via live stream. For those that have listened to it, you've been on steelsports.com.au. For those that have got the jetsies, thank you so much. We'll have the tickets ready next week. So if you've already got a set of ears, all you've got to do is go grab a ticket. And if you don't, you can buy one. They're only $20 and you get to win a fabulous piece of Newtown memorabilia. Well, for Stephen Russo, Daniel Pettigrew, Keith Robert Payne and the boys at Two Little Fish, I'm Albert Tallarico. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll do it all again next week at 11 o'clock Saturday here at Henson Park for Frank Hyde Shield. You're on steelsports.com.au. I'll get it right eventually, won't I? You've been listening to the BB New South Wales Cup live action rugby league on Steel Sports with Albie Tallarico and the team. Powered by Fit Services, Newtown Jets, Something Nice and SCU Credit Union. Join us again next Saturday afternoon at 2.45 for more rugby league, the greatest game of all.